Good afternoon, folks. Thanks for uh, attending this webinar, and welcome to this Trip and Touch presentation. Trip and Touch, Trip and Touch, sorry, being a mobile application fully integrated integrated to our TravelWorks management software. The webinar is co-organized by TravelWorks and our partner MTrip. MTrip uh, specializing in the development of mobile applications for the travel industry. My name is Lionel LeBreton. I'm marketing manager with TravelWorks. And I will introduce you very soon to Carol Morera, Business Development Director with MTrip. We will make the presentation of this Trip and Touch mobile application. Before giving the floor to Carol and let her present you Trip and Touch, I would like to briefly explain what motivated us at TravelWorks to develop the Trip and Touch mobile application in collaboration with, with MTrip. Uh, nowadays, the mobile channel has become a major communication channel with customers in the travel industry. And by definition, a customer in the travel industry is a person moving from a, from a point A to a point B. So this is the opportunity for any travel agency to offer additional services to its customers during their journey in order to facilitate their trip and to enhance their stay and thus in, indirectly to gain more brand loyalty towards your travel agency with the ultimate objective to make these customers come back to you and keep buying from your organization. So it is in this context that we took the decision in collaboration with Antrip to offer this uh, mobile application, or should I say these two mobile applications, since it is a mobile application both for iPhone and for uh, Android smartphone to enable any travel agency, regardless of its size, to make available to its customers a great mobile solution. And we also had in mind that this mobile solution had to meet two conditions. The first one being affordable for all and offered at a reasonable price. And the second one being set up to operate on autopilot without causing extra work in, in your day-to-day -day operation. So uh, without further ado, I will let Carol Moreira move ahead with the presentation. So Carol, if you want to go ahead. Yes, hi. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you, Lionel, for uh, this presentation. So I'm Carol Moreira, Head of uh, Business Development for MTRIP in North America. We are based in, uh, in Montreal, and uh, basically the company is a private company, privately held and launched by uh, our CEO, Frederic Depardieu, in 2009. It's been a company that's profitable since day one, so we're not a startup. And we started uh, creating destination guides for the travel industry uh, and moved on then for uh, uh, travel agencies, OTAs, airlines, etc. I am going to start sharing my screen. Uh, if you have any issues, you can use the question uh, box uh, to uh, you know uh, share some maybe technical difficulty you might have. I don't know if everybody uh, managed to connect. Maybe uh, Lionel will be uh, able to help, but otherwise uh, you will uh, be able to access the presentation later on the intranet of TravelWorks as it is being recorded. So uh, I'm sharing my screen now. You should be seeing uh, my iPhone screen, basically, because the best way to demonstrate uh, the mobile app is obviously on a mobile device. Uh, Lionel, can you confirm that you are seeing my screen? Yes, I do. Okay. So uh, yeah, so if Lionel sees it, then uh, normally you should all uh, see it. So to start with very quickly, um, where I'm going to show you a little bit of background about MTrip. So maybe some of you guys have researched us, but we create mobile app. We have a, what we call a white label platform for the tourism industry and travel industry. And uh, this is how uh, we met uh, TravelWorks because we have this beautiful platform. Uh, they have the, uh, the software that links to all the travel agencies uh, in, in Quebec almost and in Canada. So it was an obvious partnership here. So we started creating um, destination guides, the ones that you used to buy and paper or offer your clients 20 years ago, 10 years ago. They retail on the stores. What you will get with Trip and Touch is way more than that. So you will get all of our technology and content for those destinations and for your clients to play around with but also all of the itinerary management features. So I'm going to click here on the Trip in Touch app. So it's very important to understand, as uh, Lionel said, that this, uh, this app is available on iPhone and Android. It is also compatible with iPads and, uh, and of course, uh, any uh, sort of mobile device. So here it is. 
and it's important to understand as well that your agency will be hosted under that uh, that mobile app. So the name is Trip and Touch, uh, but your uh, brand will be there and also your choice of settings. So as you see, the app is asking me to grant authorization to uh, basically track my location. This is a very important uh, tool in terms of you know security, duty of care. So at least somebody knows uh, where the travelers are if they uh, if they authorize the app to actually locate them. So there it is, voila. Uh, here we uh, enter the app with a trip, uh, Voyage à Cuba. Well, it's a trip that has been created in French, but the uh, mobile app will you know, identify the setup of your phone. So if your phone is set up in English, in uh, Mandarin, in Italian, whatsoever, it will recognize that language. Uh, right now it's set up to read French and English, obviously, for Canada. So everything you see here, all the menu buttons will adapt. So if your client is actually francophone, the menu will appear in French. If it's anglophone, it will be appear in English. The same way the app will recognize currency conversion because your phone is Canadian. So if you're traveling to Europe, it will, you know, um, change uh, ex the exchange rate will be Canadian to Euros. Um, this is for the technical part. In terms of branding, so you see here the Trip and Touch logo. This is where your brand w would appear. So the information about your trip, where you're going, and the dates. Obviously, if you have several trips in the app, it will show the list of trips you're going to, that you have booked. And in the settings here on the top right, you can also change, well, language if you want, and currency as well. So these you will, will, will have the ability to play around with if you ask for a demo app just to understand how it works. Then again, uh, the important uh, part here is the menu and everything that the app will allow you to do. But the most important part for your travelers and your clients are the in itinerary information. So I'm going to start with the itinerary and I'll go back to the menu afterwards. Uh, in terms of itinerary, uh, those of you who are you know, familiar with, uh, with mobile apps, of course, we're going to display transportation, accommodation, any kind of uh, you know, uh, ground transportation as well. So if there's a ferry, a train, or whatsoever. And basically, anything that you will register in the TravelWorks uh, platform. So everything is linked to the TravelWorks platform. Everything you're going to uh, you know, enter in, the, in your client's trip is going to show up in the app. So it's up to you to enter the right information, transportation, you know, flights, details, et cetera, et cetera. And as soon as you will confirm that booking with your client, they will receive an email coming from your, uh, from Trip and Touch and uh, with your agency's name in it saying, thank you for your booking. Uh, here's this great app that allows you to do this and that with their download uh, information and links for Android and Apple, logging and password. So they'll be able to download the app as soon as they basically confirm the booking with you. They will also be able to access uh, the itinerary via PDF or web view for people who like paper. Uh, you never know. And, 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 that, and voila, that's there. Once they have the app, this is what they do. They access it. They have the itinerary. If they click on their flight, they will have the flight details. Everything will update automatically, so uh, the closer you get to the, uh, the check-in uh, day, um, it, they will even receive a little pop-up message one day before to check-in with their flight. There will be a check-in button here, and, uh, and all the information about terminal and gates will be updated here. So if there's a delay or whatsoever, it will, be, it will show up in the app. Okay, so you see here there's a reservation number. Uh, we usually recommend to have the record locator instead of a reservation number so they can use the record locator to check in. So it's really up to you. Uh, you, you, you can contact TravelWorks. You'll have some details about how you know, uh, to enter the information, register the information in TravelWorks. But it's pretty straightforward. But it's important to know wh what kind of information shows where in the app. Uh, same thing for the return flight and, of course, for the hotel information. So here it's Hotel Playa Pesquero. If we click on it, uh, we'll see you know some information about the you know the package. So again, this is what you have written in Travel Works, all the information here, and a couple of cool features that we'll see uh, a little bit later, like the sharing features to share on social media, the email and calendar. So again, it's important to understand that there, there's way more uh, functions in the app than what I'm going to show you today. We have only. Uh, you know, a couple of minutes together, 45 minutes, maximum an hour. So I'm going to go to the essential, and you have the ability to ask questions in the question area of your um, webinar uh, system. So for the cool part, 
now. The cool part is really the destination, so what's happening over there. And this is what your travelers and your clients will use the most. Uh, they will use the offline map before they go on their trip, but also during their trip and sometimes even afterwards. Everybody wants to have a you know, trip down memory lane and remember where they've been and how good their holiday was. So they'll use the offline map. So most of the app will work offline, 99% of it. Uh, I'll let you know what needs an online connection, obviously booking features. But if we click on map here, as you see, a map will appear. So this is the guide part of, of the app. And they can click on something they want to you know, maybe visit, ask for direction from a location on the map. So if they're, I'm not in Cuba, obviously, but let's say I'm here somewhere and ask for the route. And there we go. And all of this is going to work offline. So it's very important, the offline feature, because when you're traveling, you don't want to use data. You might not be able to access Wi-Fi. You really want to have those features working 100% 24-7. Also, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to cost you uh, data. Uh, when you use Google Maps, it does. And also, it's not going to drain your battery. So very important feature for your clients. The other one is the guide in itself. So that's going to tell you everything that's you know, happening around, what's you know, going on here, what can, you can visit maybe, how close you are from. So as you see, I'm 2,613 kilometers from Granma. And again, you can click on it, check all this information. You can even send a postcard to your friends or post them on the, your social media. So lots of pretty cool features that your clients will be able to use. Uh, there we go. If we go back, restaurant, shopping, practical information, currency converter. So if I click here, as you see, it's, it is analyzing my phone. They know it, it's, phone, it's Canadian phone, and we're going to the Cuban uh, currency. Uh, so all of these information are offline as well. So uh, whether they're on a plane or whether they're somewhere on the beach over there, they can click on any kind of information and access those data and really just have fun looking at what's going on around and maybe which cafe they could go to after their time at the beach. I'll go back. Another really cool feature they'll play with is the itinerary tool here. So if you, you know, if they ha don't have anything really planned, maybe they want to look into it before or after their trip. Uh, I don't have it programmed on this one yet. I'll go to another trip for that. I'll show you the itinerary afterwards. If you were to you know, book a, a tour whatsoever for your clients, you can discuss it with TravelWorks. There's different ways where um, tours or cru crews can show up, not maybe all the information, but that's something you will uh, be able to discuss with TravelWorks. So I'll show you the itinerary feature. There's some more feature, but it hasn't been programmed yet. Uh, Trip in Touch is launching now, so some of the features are not yet working. I'll show you uh, to you on another trip. Let's go to the menu here. So we've looked into the itinerary, which is the cool part. Now the menu is really where you as an agency uh, will bring the most value and find the most client engagement opportunities. So you have the Talk to Us button, which can be either a email address, so your customer uh, you know, a service email address or your agency email address. It doesn't need to work 24-7, you know, but just they know that they can just quickly type a message to their agency, ask you about something, and that they will get a message and a, you know, a response quite, uh, quite quickly. Uh, it can also be a chat system if you have an online chat system with a URL link that you can connect. That's, that can be done as well. Contact information, well, it's your contact information. So that will be filled in with you when you open your account with TravelWorks. Uh, booking features is really about, well, do you have booking feature or is it your website? So it could be the link to your website. So let's say here we talk booking.com. Uh, so this is the website. So if your website is responsive and user friendly, we can definitely uh, link your, the URL link of your, of your website. Uh, more is more. <laughs> so. Uh, here are a couple of options. Uh, so the share option, as I said, you saw it in a couple of the other features here. It's really uh, a way for your travelers to share their location or share their itinerary. Share the location maybe with someone who's traveling or in the same country for some reason, or send them via you know, text or email whatsoever. If there's a disruptive event or weather or you know, a terrorist attack, they can, act, uh, they can just act quickly and share their location with their family and friends. They could also share their itinerary uh, if they want uh, you know, a loved one to know where they are or what their plans are or just 
because somebody's picking, picking them up from the airport, at least they have all of the information here. Uh, some other cool tools, so the journal. Uh, the journal is the ability, so that's my cat, Leon, lion. Uh, so it's the ability to take pictures and write notes and keep it to yourself if it's your private digital journal or send it to some friends or post it on your social media. So again, some cool features that they love to play around with. It's really interesting uh, to build a little album of your, uh, your holidays. And that's pretty much it about the tour airport wait time. It will show all the um, Canadian and U.S. airport wait times in this one. And uh, what else? Explore is really what's around you. So I'm not in Cuba. So the app is telling me, you're not here yet. There's nothing around you in Cuba because you're in Montreal. So voila. Add item is the ability for them to, if you want to, uh, this can be switched on and off for your clients to add accommodation in flights manually in case they have booked a flight with you but they're, they're booking the accommodation uh, with a different provider, uh, happens, or they're staying at some friends or family, they can still enter the address and information here. So it's pretty cool, you know, um, let's say option to provide to your, uh, to your clients, but that's really up to you. Uh, most of those features here can be switched on and off and adapted in some ways. So this is a conversation, again, you want to have with TravelWorks when you look into setting up your accounts with the, the, the mobile app. I'm going to change trip just to show you. Uh, so you see here, different trips. So I'm going to go to London Athens. And as you see here, the logo has changed. So this is an agency in Quebec. And I think here we have the itinerary working. Yes. So this is what I wanted to show you. So here, for instance, uh, clients going to London, Maybe he wants to visit something. Maybe he wants some advice. So the app will also work a bit like a travel you know, agent on the go. And you can ask the app to fill in you know, an itinerary for you and paste it according to your preferences, monument. And if you're going to gra with grandma or with some friends, you know, maybe you want to see more things, maybe less. Let's say medium. And then you launch it here. And voila. So here it's created a full itinerary. I can even see it on the map of places to visit. This is pretty intense. I can modify it. So that's the trip genius option and say, OK, lower pace. There are so many things to visit in, in, uh, in London. Let's keep it cool. Let's launch it again. And there we go. Big information here. And you can also, again, ask for direction. So if you're having lunch somewhere in London and ask for direction to go there, there you go. It's that fast. And if there is public transportation available, it will show it to you as well. Otherwise, it will you know, inform you there is no public transportation. And it's going to create this itinerary every day. And it's only going to offer destinations that are well, interesting, popular, and open. So if it's offering to visit a museum, obviously that means that museum is open that day. So that's a pretty uh, amazing way to have information about a destination without buying a paper guide that can be uh, you know, outdated or even trying to, you know, to go to an information desk or, uh, or a concierge desk. You can play around with this in a coffee shop, in your hotel, on the beach, and it's not going to ask for any connection, any data whatsoever. So uh, voila about the big tour. And yes, again. Uh, Lionel, did you want me to look into something specific? Uh, <coughs> would you like to maybe to show the um, the augmented reality? Yeah, I'll go to Montreal for that. We have one question uh, about adding flight and adding uh, accommodation. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, you know they can add anything, a hostel or whatsoever. It's uh, it's really like there's no uh, there's no limit to what they can add into that uh, that item. Uh, and uh, and uh, I get it answered. Thank you, Janelle. Okay, cool. So I'm going to move on to our M Trip demo app to show you the augmented reality, as Lionel was mentioning, because that's another cool feature. But it only works if you're on site. So as you can see, I'm traveling to Toronto. So this is my private trip. No, it's actually a professional trip next week. And here we go. And I'm going to go to Montreal. Voila, because we're downtown. So is going to show us what's around. So our offices, you're going to see a bit of our offices. 
Uh, it's really cooler when you're outside, obviously, but at least I'll visualize you. So here we're in Montreal. We're in the Montreal Guide. It's even suggestion places to visit if I want to. Uh, and then again, that's a feature you can uh, ask TravelWorks to look into. If you have an account with Viator or a URL link on your website or provider for tour and activities, uh, this also can be embedded in some way. Uh, again, there's no one-fit-all solution. So according to your specific needs and uh, your business model, you can really discuss some uh, different options with TravelWorks to make it uh, more unique and more personalized as a product for your agency. So here you see the little uh, icon here around me. So again, when I was in Cuba, it won't show me things around me or they were 2,000 uh, kilometers away. So as you see here, things are pretty much closer if I want to visit them. So you can go with the around me button and it's going to tell you what's around you, basically, restaurants, attraction, etc. Or if you want it to be uh, kind of cooler, you can go in augmented reality mode and it's going to go in picture mode and it's going to show you some of my colleagues here. So here are the geniuses working on the app. And as you see, uh, we have a lot of little icons. And these are places to visit nearby. So if I click on them, it's going to tell me what it is. And it's going to tell me how far it is as well. So you see 250 meters away. I can augment the range. Oh, that's my finger. Or I can you know, lower the range. If I'm looking for a restaurant, there we go, downtown Montreal, plenty of choices. And again, I'm trembling a bit because I'm trying to hold the phone in the white area. There we go. And it's going to tell you what it is and how far it is. So this when you're outside, obviously, is even cooler. Uh, but that's what we call augmented reality. Not Pokemon yet, but almost. Voila. Uh, anything else, Lionel, maybe I, I didn't uh, mention or that you wanted to uh, maybe uh, put an emphasis on? Uh, <coughs> in the book section, um, you gave the, ex the example with booking.com, just maybe to uh, mm -hmm. To make a precision and uh, and just explain that we can add as many links as we want yeah. depending on the uh, different partners that people would have and uh, the affiliate companies and so on. Yeah, for that I'm going to show the uh, Club Voyage app. If you don't mind, he uh, he's okay with us showing his app. So uh, Club Voyage is trans that uh, franchisee here in Quebec and his booking feature, for example, it links to his website. So these are several uh, URL links that you can find. So these are his flights. So this is all his website. It's not nothing that we created. It's just links to various products on his website. So, and, that's, and those are the functions that will work online, basically. So you need to, well, it's changing up. So, yeah. so you need to have a connection when you're going to booking features, obviously, because, well, they're your booking features. So you need a connection to book them and pay for them. So you see they have a lot of choices, this and whatever. So this is more personalized. Uh, this can be taken as for, as uh, Lionel said, uh, you have a couple of options here in, uh, in Trip and Touch that you need to discuss with uh, TravelWorks about your booking features or any other features. The Talk to Us button, I, I think personally, is a, is a must. Uh, we, see we have clients all over the world, small agencies, bigger agencies. And uh, as you know, the travel industry is going um, you know, mobile all over the world. But it's really about the connection and the engagement. I mean, uh, none of these, uh, none of your, uh, your, your itineraries or your app are going to look the same. Even if you're under the Trip and Touch uh, app, it's uh, all your itineraries and the service that you're going to give is going to be different. And this is your mark. It's your brand. Uh, they will show your brand around because you always show your, your holiday plans to everyone. So a good thing about brand visibility is your clients will show this to their friends, their family, their co-workers, so that's very important for you in terms of branding and to get new clients. They will post some pictures on their social medias, and if they do that, it will uh, link to uh, your, your, you know, the, your, your products. And also, the most important for them is to be reassured that they can quickly engage with you. If they're thinking about renting a car, if they're thinking about ho adding a hotel, if they see something interesting, if a friend recommends something, uh, either they'll go on a website and they'll go quick on the booking.com or Expedia, but if they have the app in the hand, it, they can just click and ask you a question and say, oh, you know, I saw that or somebody told me about this hotel, what do you think? That's an extra opportunity for you to interact with them and upsell, uh, whether it's upgrading a flight or uh, selling a hotel or adding a car rental or whatever else or adding a cruise to the trip, you never know. I personally I have worked in the travel industry, I've run travel agencies, I've been a travel agent, and uh, every time I had the op occasion of you know, reconnecting with a client who had booked something, it was an opportunity to sell something else. 
uh, more service, more uh, you know engagement, more projects. Maybe add people, friends to the trip, you know. Uh, so the most interaction you're going to get, the most you know uh, brand visibility and selling opportunity you're going to have, and that's what mobility is all about: is to make your traveler's life easy, but also keep you in mind to them all the time. So they, they remember they book with you, they know that they can contact you easily, and they can access some products. So if, as Lionel was saying, if they can access very quickly your website or your touring activities or your insurance, it could be uh, here, you could have a list, you could have insurance as well. Well, you know, uh, people are human. They'll go to the easy solution most of the time. It's a, it's a question of price, but today with mobility, it's also a question of being easy and fast. So voila, and we have some more questions. I don't know, Lionel, if you want to pick, pick up on some of these. Uh, for the map portion, can we add destination that we recommend or the client's friend recommend? Uh, so that's an interesting question. These are some of the evolution on the project that uh, are being worked on. So. Uh, Today, right now, uh, not yet, but in the future, it is totally something that uh, will be feasible. Again, that's a conversation you want to have with uh, Travel Works. And your questions are also the way we're going to be able to, you know, see what options are the most important to you and the one that maybe uh, Travel Works wants to um, have available to, to you the fastest. Uh, there's a question about storing uh, client insurance information on this app. Uh, again, that's the way Travel Works is created. So, if there is a product uh, line, uh, Lionel, I'll let you look into that with uh, IT because it's more of an IT question. Um, most of you know uh, what of our clients ask from us is feasible. Now, it's all of, always a question of making it easy and fast and accessible to everyone. So, why not keep asking your question? We won't answer them all today. Uh, Lionel will come back to you at one point with uh, with some an answers, and there will be an FAQ as well with the video and um, you know the recording of this uh, this demo. Uh, Another interesting question, Carol, just coming coming in. Okay. Can clients store safe places like restaurants? That yeah, I love Janelle. I don't know. I don't know who you are, Janelle, but you have amazing questions. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so voila. We're not going to give your family name, but <laughs> this is it. Uh, yes, definitely. So, uh, as you see in the uh, in the mobile app, uh, when you click on uh, maybe I was uh, I went a bit fast, but you always have. Let's go to the guide, for example, and you see uh, you see here favorites. So you could, that means you can store some favorites. So if you go in drinking and nightlife, and you say, oh well, Cabaret Tropicana sounds really great you can add it to your favorite you can even take it as a visited and at one point you can even rate the place so yes to that question and there's also a, a tab to report um, an icon to report changes we can see this at the bottom so whenever for example uh, a restaurant change the uh, the opening times and uh, stuff like this uh, the users yeah, can mention you, the changes yeah. and uh, if you notice something, I don't know, maybe the restaurant shut down for some reason, or there's an issue, the museum has, a, you know, some problem. If you want to report it, uh, yeah, well, that would be great. Uh, you can just write a message, and uh, it will send eventually when you have a connection. If you don't have a connection, it will send it when uh, when it's connected. Uh, so, and we have uh, customized to our specific region, we tour national. Okay, I don't have so that full question appearing. Uh, everything that's customizable, um, thank you for that question. You can ask Travel Works. There are some various options. Uh, again, there's no what fit all solution. You all have different special specialization in terms of product. So uh, my answer is always going to be yes to a certain extent. Uh, discuss your specific uh, request with Travel Works, and they'll let you know what's uh, what's available now, and also what might be coming uh, in a couple of weeks. Because the platform is going to be uh, is going to evolve. Uh, we improve and upgrade everything uh, on a daily basis. Um, I don't know if you're all familiar with Google Trips, but Google did launch an app uh, last year, and this is very inspired from what we do. Actually, we love that compliment. But uh, if you're not going mobile, if you don't have something. Uh, somebody else is doing it. So Google is definitely trying to get the travel clients industry uh, in their uh, in their market. Um, OTAs, everyone. And right now, our app, in terms of satisfaction rate, in terms of download rate, has 
one of the highest globally, uh, even I would say best than Expedia and other OTAs. We have clients around the world, smaller agencies and OTAs who reach over 70% download rates. I mean, seven out of 10 clients will download the app. This is very, very high. And uh, we offer a lot of uh, flexibility, but again, it has to go through travel works. So we have a answer. bunch of yeah, new questions uh, yeah. coming. Go ahead. Yeah, well, that's uh, I hope so. We have questions. So uh, question concerning the contact information. So after this webinar, all of you guys uh, who were registered to the webinar will receive the, uh, the video recording as well as all the contact information. So you will receive this uh, per email. Uh, we have another question concerning pricing. Um, so the way it works with pricing it depends on the uh, the size of your travel agency. So depending on the the number of passengers uh, invoice um, on a yearly basis. So we start with a license, um, 2,000 packs and less, and the uh, the opening price, let's say, is uh, the license is 588 dollars uh, per year. And there's, there is a set of fee, uh, of course, uh, an initial set of fee the first year, two hundred and ninety nine dollars to set up the uh, the um, the tool with your all your information. Yeah. So, in so uh, we. Pricing, it's, uh, yeah, it's very important to understand that. Well, first of all, you have the best pricing uh, options with uh, M Trip uh, globally so far. I think it's the best price we've ever given to a company uh, globally. So go Canada. Uh, we've been very generous here. It's uh, very important to understand that uh, the pricing is linked to uh, your data processing, and that's why not everybody's going to have the same pricing because we're going to we're going to process your data, and the more data, the more volume. Obviously, uh, the price will change a little bit. So go back to Travel Works to have those. Uh, those answers, but bear in mind if you're looking into you know the market, it is one of the lowest price you will be able to find. And just to give you an idea, um, we have also some clients who uh, actually we have an agency in Quebec uh, who even makes their clients pay for their mobile app uh, a dollar I think per packs if you do tours. Uh, that's your up to, it's your choice to see how you're going to do it. If you want to offer it for free to your client, or if you're going to ask for a, you know a, a certain amount of money, that's really up to you how you manage your return on investment. Uh, we always recommend to um, you know provide it for free because uh, why not? Mobility today is uh, is what it is, so you have to include that in your pricing structure for uh, this year or next year. It's very important to understand uh, your competition is doing it, and they're most of them are offering it for free. So it's really if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna look into trying to um, you know go back into your investment and uh, thinking about adding an extra dollar or two, you need to be able to justify it with engagement, with the chat system, with uh, you know some package it with some other services. Uh, that's that's very essential. Um, uh, Lionel, do you wanna do you want me to touch into the uh, PDF question? Oh, yes. Not there yes. yet. Yeah, so it's not it's not there yet, but this is something that uh, again is uh, something you need to discuss with travelers. There are many options. I can show you an example of how it looks indeed in uh, my demo app here in Documents. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe uh, this is YMCA College of Montreal. So any kind of PDF, it's going to look as nice as what you're going to provide, basically. <laughs> So it's not a tour or, or a cruise uh, information. I wouldn't go there because I will show always a different product because your product is yours. So the app will show the document you will provide eventually if TravelWorks offers you that option. I have shared this slide to you. So this is the, uh, actually the trip from my nephews when they came to visit me. So I had added here everything uh, I had booked with them. So you see these are various formats. This is the Cirque du Soleil format. So this is how a PDF will show up. Uh, you could add Word or Excel. It's going to look as nice as the document you're going to attach, basically. So voilà. But again, this option is to discuss with Travel Works because uh, a lot of uh, features that are à la carte uh, can be uh, programmed eventually. Maybe they're not available right now, but that's that's some uh, you know all of the uh, evolutions in the uh, in the platform that we are planning for the next couple of weeks or months. Did I answer There's that right, Lionel? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank There's you. a question uh, concerning Blackberries. Uh, well, Blackberries, uh, yeah, Blackberry has moved to the uh, Android platform anyway. So uh, right now, you will, uh, I mean, every recent phone, I would say, uh, I think Android one version 
five and plus, and uh, so it's really about uh, you know having a, the, 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 some of the latest operation systems. So if they have a BlackBerry from the 80s and it's not operating on the recent operation system, I would say in, within the last year or two, uh, obviously it's not going to work. But that means that phone is going to be discontinued and not going to be working this year anyway. <laughs> so uh, the last two BlackBerry left are on Android, so it's going to work. No problem. It's even, I mean, even the little um, push notification for the check-in is going to work on an Apple Watch. So that's how far we've taken it so far. And uh, anything else? I had another thing in mind, Carol, concerning yeah. the, the alerts with the, uh, maybe the uh, airline companies or the that kind of things. Um, yeah, well, uh, the, the only alert you're getting right now is the one with, uh, with the, uh, for the check-in. And, uh, and also, if there's a modification, oh yeah, very important one. Actually, you're making me think about that one. Is the um, information about a modification in your trip? So if you change the, your client's trip, if you cancel something or you modify something in a trip, obviously it's going to be uh, instantaneous, uh, almost. So as soon as you're going to confirm that in the in the uh, in the invoice, uh, it can be uh, a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes uh, for it to upgrade in the uh, in the system. So that's very important to understand. And a little one will appear, like when you receive a text message, uh, you know, a little uh, a little no a number will appear here on the top, as, as I have here on my apps, actually. So you will uh, they will see it, and they will receive a little push notification. This is how they look, push notifications here on their phone saying, we have updated your trip, uh, or uh, checking is available. Um, in terms of flight details, it will be in the app. The uh, flight alerts in terms of push notification is not activated on your app. You don't really need it for leisure. It's more of a corporate uh, corporate traveler feature, and it's an extra. Uh, it doesn't come free because it's a special service, and that would send messages about you know flight delays and gate changes. Again, you don't really need it because they will have it in the app. It will be updated here all the time. Okay. Uh, anything else? I think we've gone around all the questions. It's very, uh, very interesting. We don't have that many questions. I thought we would have more. Um, Lionel, I think for me, I've gone over everything. I don't know if you want to close up on some. Uh, maybe I just wanted to mention something. You, you, sh you showed the um, the um, the viable uh, possibility with Facebook, with the journal, and with the itinerary. Uh, just maybe to specify that when the end user is doing this, uh, the the name of the travel agency is mentioned on the uh, on the Facebook. Uh, on yeah, their wall? yeah, uh, yeah. I've, I've been a, a bit fast on that one, but again, it uh, it depends how it's going to be set up, and if you have, you know, it's it's only interesting if you also link it to a URL or your website, so they actually can even click on a uh, on a, on a link, and it will redirect them on your website. So these are interesting marketing features that can be done, but again, it has to be discussed one by one in terms of what's feasible. It will be powered by or, you know, uh, booked with or something like that. Uh, but uh, then it's important to have a link somewhere uh, so they know where to go on a website or uh, otherwise you kind of lose some of the traction here. So there's a lot of amazing features in, in the app, again. Uh, there's a bit of work on your side to to do to look into you know how you would want it to you know to be used and which uh, which features you want to, you would want to connect there. The main one being Travel Works, of course, because all of your itinerary comes from that uh, that software. And then it's really to discuss it with uh, with the team there. They can also send you a demo of the app if you want to play around with it, just get familiar with, uh, with what it, what it is. It's always the best way to experience it. And uh, and then it's uh, it's just a decision. It's really a switch on, uh, easy uh, process. Uh, everything's connected already. We already have agencies uh, running on the platform, so um, it is really uh, you know it's it's really very simple and easy to uh, to launch. It's uh, just about making uh, you know the decision about what you want to see in there and uh, and talking with your team. That's it, and again, you will receive a recording of the presentation with the contact information. So we uh, encourage you, if you if you have any interest, to to get in touch with us, and we will be more than happy to uh, to answer any kind of additional questions uh, uh, you you would have. So if we don't have any more questions, we go we're gonna close the session, and uh, we hope that you uh, you enjoy the presentation and. Uh,
and I wish you uh, wish you all uh, um, a nice day. A great day. Thank you, Lionel. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.